Welcome to Cowboy Flavor. This week on Cowboy Flavor, we're cooking prime rib on the rotisserie, baked potatoes, beer bread, a tossed green salad, and bacon-wrapped stuffed jalapenos. Now get on in here close, because it's time for Cowboy Flavor with Billy and Sue Ruiz. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Cowboy Flavor. I'm Billy. This is my wife, Sue. We're here in beautiful Montana de Oro State Park, and we're with a couple of good old coast friends, Bill and Leslie from Bar Brothers. And these guys are experts in barbecuing and especially rotisserie style barbecuing. And Bill, Leslie, we're glad to have you here today. And I know you've got a big menu planned here, prime rib, baked potatoes, stuffed jalapenos, a nice Mm. tossed green salad, beer bread, and Jay and Sue's favorite, s'mores. Yes. So we're going to let you guys take off with this and show us what you're going to do here today. Well, we're going to take these two pieces of beautiful Harris Ranch Choice prime rib and we're going to cook it a little differently than most people see it cooked. Most of the time you're going to be in an oven, something like you've seen on some of your other shows. This time we're going to do it on a little battery operated rotisserie because we have no electricity out here and we need to get these things cooked. All right. So we're going to run these rods through and hopefully balance the meat while we do this. And the way you do that is once you get a piece of meat on there, you hold it in both hands and you kind of rotate it. And if it kind of wants to flop, which that one does, it tells me I've got too much weight at the bottom. Okay. That's where the weight's at. So all you do is simply move your bar, reposition it a little bit, and try the same procedure again. Now we got one little turn. Perfect. All right. And this is battery operated, completely portable. It runs on two D-sized flashlight batteries, if you can believe it. And you can get quite a bit of life out of them. I usually tell people, put an extra set of batteries in your little burlap bag that the whole unit comes in, just so in case you ever run out of juice in the middle of a cook, change the batteries and off you go. All right. And That's this, pretty handy. We're looking at what, 10, 11 pounds of beef Probably here? Probably at least. All right. And the thing is, if you get that meat balanced well, the motor won't strain. If you get a really heavy on one end, the motor will go going down and it'll strain going back up. So just okay. so the most important thing is get that meat balanced. Why do you guys think rotisserie cooking is so good? Well, there's a, a bunch of reasons. Billy, number one, it's real easy. You can put the meat on and you can walk away from it. You don't have to turn it, you don't have to tend it. Number two, it just, it, the cooking, the self-basting nature of what it does, the juices come off, they drip but they just completely based throughout the time you're cooking. It just, it, the taste is, the flavor is incredible. And that's a pretty good balance right there. Now, most people I see with a rotisserie run that rod through this prime rib the other way. Right. Shortens the, the circumference of the meat so that it just cooks better. And the reason I cut this prime rib in, in half, it gives more surface area, it'll cook a little faster because this will take about two hours. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll take a little bit of olive oil. Look at it for you. Here's Get some. We'll just kind of rub that in. The reason I use olive oil, it just makes the seasoning stick a little better and it gives it a little bit of extra added flavor. So now we're going to use the old cowboy flavor seasoning. All right. Well, you've had great success with this and I, yeah. I think it's a great tool and we pack it a horseback, um, keep one behind the seat of the pickup. It's like instant rotisserie cooking wherever you go. It's, it doesn't weigh anything. Nope. And I'll put this thing on, and we'll put the motor on, and we'll start right, her up. We'll go this way. All right. There we go. That's what I want right there. Hit the switch, and we're good. Well, that was easy. Wow. The reason I do that, it's a battery-operated motor, but it's not made of steel. There's a lot of plastic in it. You want to keep it away from the heat. You want to cook the meat. You don't want to cook the motor. So we're on with two D-cell batteries, 12 pounds of prime rib, a handful of coals, and walk away from that's it. That's it. Feed it We're rolls done. every now and then. We're done. Beautiful. That's a nice looking piece of meat and that's a great grizzly spit. What's next? This is for anything you might want to cook that doesn't require the spit forks. And here in this case we're going to use baked, baked potatoes. And there's a little hole in each end that goes right, crossbar goes right through. A couple of set screws to set your crossbar and you're all done. And once again it's a real easy deal. So those are Raw potatoes wrapped in foil. That's it. Fish, vegetables, Fish, vegetables anything. Anything that you really you can't put a for. thick steak in there. You could put steak in here. A lot of people put ribs in here. What's that it's squeeze it. down to? All the way down about a to half about three inch? quarters of an inch. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put that on, hit the switch, and we're good. All right. That's all there is. Same thing. A lot of people will have a fire pit like this, but they'll be on a brick patio or something. You can't drive the steaks into the ground. So we developed these little brackets that fit on the Sojo handle to allow for the uprights. And if you, if you need to go lower, cut the poles. 
not going to be a big deal because you'll use them again and again and again. Jay, keep an eye on that. Thank you, sir. This is so easy. What are we going to do? Don't <laughs> hypnotize yourself. <laughs> From the great Atlantic Ocean to the wide Pacific shore. From the green old flowing mountains to the south bay by the shore. Mighty tall and handsome, she's known quite well by all. She's a combination called a Wabash Cannonball. Well, everybody, here we are at our Bar Brothers show. We had our good, good friends, Bill and Leslie, who represent Bar Brothers and this beautiful grizzly spit. And what we did today, we're just going to recap what they did, not us. Uh, we did a stuffed jalapeno, baked potatoes with a horseradish cream sauce, a beautiful, beautiful prime rib, beer bread, a beautiful salad, and s'mores for dessert. Mm. We hope you guys enjoyed as much as we had fun enjoying working with these guys. And thanks to our viewers, thanks to you guys, and for sure, thanks for all this good cooking. Mm -hmm. And folks, we'll see you on the next one. And from our camp to yours, best of the West. Driving through the jungle on the wall. Cowboy Flavor has been ball. brought to you by Harris Ranch Beef, premium quality, all natural beef. Bar Brothers, tools and accessories for outdoor cooking. Cowboy Living, housewares for the Western lifestyle.